Hello everyone, this is Nicholas. Samsung just introduced two more babies to the Galaxy Book lineup. The Galaxy Book Go and the Galaxy Book Go 5G, both powered by ARM or ARM processors. So here are everything you need to know about them. The biggest headline is, of course, the price. It starts at $349. At this price range, you usually get a Chromebook but this is a full Windows 10 laptop, which is only about one third of the price compared to the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro that was launched only three weeks ago. For those who are disappointed with the build quality or performance of the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro, will the Samsung Galaxy Book Go be a better alternative? Let's find out. So what makes the Galaxy Book Go so affordable? Well, instead of going with the more expensive Intel or AMD processors, the Galaxy Book Go uses Qualcomm's Snapdragon computer chips. The Wi-Fi only version uses the 7C Gen 2 core, while the 5G version uses the 8CX Gen 2 core. One funny fact is that the 7C Gen 2 core actually has 4G LTE functionality, but Samsung decided not to include that and branded the base model as Wi-Fi only. The 8CX Gen 2 core on the 5G model is actually a pretty powerful chip. It was designed to compete with Intel's i5 core CPU. So if you want the laptop to be a little bit more powerful, then the 5G one is a better option. For the RAM, it starts at 4GB and you can upgrade it to 8GB. For internal storage, it starts at 64GB and you can upgrade it to 128GB. As of today, we only know the price for the base model. We don't know the pricing for the upgrade yet. Although it is called the Galaxy Book Go, but it is actually a little bit heavier than the Galaxy Book Pro. The Galaxy Book Go is roughly 3 pounds or 1.38 kilograms. In terms of size, it's 324 by 225 millimeters, which gives you a 14-inch display in Full HD 1080p resolution. When you close the lid, the laptop measures about 15 millimeters thick. It's not the smallest 14-inch laptop on the market, but it's light enough for you to hold it with just one hand. The battery capacity has 42.3 watt hours. Samsung claims that this will provide you 18 hours of use after a full charge. Of course, it really depends on what kind of tasks that you are running on this laptop. Based on my experience from the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro, the battery was supposed to last more than 21 hours, but it only lasted 6 hours on graphic intensive tasks. So my recommendation is that you have to take this number with a grain of salt. Although it's a budget laptop, it does come with a 25W USB Type-C fast charger. So shout out to the Samsung team of not being a cheap ass on this aspect. In terms of connectivity, it comes with Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.1. They are not the fastest, but they are decent enough for a budget laptop, and they should be more than adequate to meet your regular use. And because it is a Samsung device, so it does feature the quick share that you can instantly share files between different Samsung devices, such as your Galaxy phone or Galaxy tab. The Samsung Galaxy Book Go comes with quite a number of ports. On the left-hand side of the laptop, you have the tray for the Nano SIM, which is only available for the 5G option. You have one USB Type-C port and one USB Type-A port. You also have a nano security slot in case if you wanna lock your computer with a security lock. Funny that Samsung provides the security slot to an affordable laptop, but not the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro which is at least 3 times more expensive. On the left hand side of the laptop, you have another USB Type-C port with a LED indicator light next to it which will show you the charging status of your laptop. You also have a standard 3.5mm 
headphone and mic combo jack, as well as a micro SD card slot. It would be really nice if it also has an HDMI port, but you know, this is a budget laptop, so you can't really expect too much out of it. Samsung branded this Samsung Galaxy Book Go as a work-from-home-ready laptop. So what does it mean exactly? Well, as a starter, it has a built-in webcam and microphone. The webcam is half HD 720p resolution. Considering that even the most high-end Samsung Galaxy Book Pro laptops are using the exact same webcam, you can't really complain anything about it for a $350 laptop. So to accommodate the low camera quality, Samsung does provide a whole bunch of camera beauty filters to make you look much better than you actually look and feel good about yourself all day long. And because it is a Samsung device, so you do get the benefits of getting a whole bunch of Samsung custom software. Some of them are pretty useful such as setting up your Samsung tab as a second monitor which should increase your work-from-home productivities. If you are living within the Samsung ecosystem and you are tight in budget, this Samsung Galaxy Book Pro should be music to your ears. For example, if you have the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, you can easily switch between your laptop and your cell phones without going through the hassles of disconnect from one device and reconnect on the other device. Moreover, the Samsung Galaxy Book Go doesn't have any fan, so it should stay quiet pretty much all the time. Even though it is a budget laptop, it's still packed with the Dolby Atmos speakers. This should allow you to enjoy your music from the laptop even without headphones. The Samsung Galaxy Book Go will only come in one color which is silver. The Wi-Fi only base model will be available on June 10th at $349. The 5G version will be available later this year, but at this moment, we don't know the pricing yet. However, because of the more expensive Qualcomm computer chip, you should expect that the 5G version will be at least $100 more compared to the Wi-Fi only version. So there you have it. What do you think about the Galaxy Book Go? Is that something you consider? Please let me know in the comment section below. For those who are first time here, and if you enjoy this type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are getting any value from this video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate if you can give me a big thumbs up below. This will help the YouTube algorithm to let more people like you know about this video. Thank you very much for watching and again, thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe and have a good rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.